just have to load it up. Many moons ago, Verendia was once a sprawling mass of land with bountiful resources, inhabited by both Vanai and man. The Vanai, relentless and greedy in their quest for knowledge, drew upon these resources to experiment with powers far beyond their understanding. Angered by their arrogance, the gods banished them and shattered Brendia into pieces, marring each with a different curse. Vanai faded from history, and man was left to inherit the punishment. Centuries of chaos and fright ensued, and from the darkness, Heroes were forged. You are one of the few willing to brave the unforgiving threats of each region in search of a cure for Brendia's curses. Your adventure begins in Westmire, a region slowly crumbling under the rift, an unholy gateway to the Nether Realm. You will need to challenge and defeat the Rift Lord to purge Westmire of its curse. Should you survive, remember that it's just the first of many cursed regions. Your quest is far from over. Your journey will be fraught with peril, but you will have might and magic on your side. The nights will be cold, but your trusted companions will keep you warm. Your enemies will be strong, but in time, you can grow stronger. Now, gather your wits and steal your courage. Your Gordian quest is about to begin. All right. Okay, so this is Gordian Quest. It is in early access. So basically what that means is you've got uh, early bits of the game available. And as the game continues to get uh, bigger, I'm going to continue to to do the quest. So what you're going to see uh, here is I'm going to go through the game, uh, maybe the, uh, two or three videos uh, just to get to the Rift Lord, uh, assuming that I don't die, uh, at which point I'll start again. It is a roguelike, so if you do die with everything, uh, you have to start again. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh, excuse me. And I don't know why my uh, video's delayed. Maybe my um, uh, maybe my quality of my video is a little higher than it needs to be. So uh, I'll hopefully adjust that for the next video, but uh, don't want to waste this time here. All right, here we go. I've got to go to the actual uh, game, so hopefully everything keeps working. All right, so we're going to do a new campaign. We are going to get rid of the progress. I've only played a little bit. Um, I haven't played through six or seven times. I've played through maybe once. And uh, in fact, I've played through only once. And uh, so just give me an idea of how to play. So we are going to go to Trouble in Westmere. And there we go. All right, and then just a quick tab over to make sure that everything is working. Yeah, so now it's just shrunk my thing down, but that's all right. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, several different characters here. We've got Lucius, who's a sword hand. He's uh, a soldier and uh, wanders around. Uh, we've got a uh, cleric named Catherine. Bertram, the ranger. Um, okay. We've got Alphonse, the scoundrel. Pierre, the spellbinder. And Ida, the druid. So basically all those are available. I'm going to start off with Alphonse. Um, we've got some renowned bonuses. Uh, I've just selected here what I really like, which is a random rare skill, a, uh, a skill points plus one, and a random starting magic item. So hopefully that's a good thing. And we're going to start off with Alphonse. We're going to go normal. We're going to go classic mode. 
Uh, no, I'm not going to skip the prologue because I want you guys to be able to see how the game works. You there. You're with the soldiers that came in from the south with me. The undead ahead look like nasty ones. We'll push this. We'll push through this group and regroup with Captain Roderick and his men in the garrison. If you're handy with that weapon of yours, now would be a good time to use it. All right. So perform an attack by picking a card, then picking a target in range. So let's pick a uh, puncture. Let's uh, give this guy some bleed. All right. So that just, you can see that uh, bleed is lose two hit points for every AP use in the last two turns. Okay. Now do the same with the defense card to play it on yourself instead. So we'll put some parry on ourselves. And then uh, every skill has an action point cost. There's one point left. You can see it down here in the corner. And uh, let's go stab, which is going to do uh, three by three damage. Okay, and then we can end our turn. Nice one, I must admit, you took you for an amateur, but now we must survive this one just yet. By my side, let's take them down together. All right, so let's throw a dagger, throw a dagger, puncture, stab. Okay, so it's a deck builder game um, in the way that uh, it's designed to, you wanna keep your deck as, as trim as possible, um, similar to something like Slay the Spire, uh, where if your deck gets too bloated, uh, you're, you're ignoring a lot of your good skills, so you wanna keep your deck uh, pretty tight. Uh, the garrison is just up ahead. Gain some experience, that's a nice little uh, hit there. And then we get some items. Uh, Hidden Blade, that's a decent skill for, uh, for Alphonse. And then some money. All right. Act one, trouble in Westmire. Okay, let's go talk to our officer, Aaron. Welcome to the garrison. It isn't much, but it'll have to do on such short notice. Where are my manners? I'm officer Aaron of the Towns Guard. Wish we had met under better circumstances naturally. This is, this here is our guild hall. We've converted it to a house survivors like yourself. So make yourself at home. In the meantime, you should speak with Captain Roderick. He's a charger out here. Oh, oh, yawning. All right, let's go talk to Captain Roderick. Captain, we have a scoundrel with us, pretty handy with his daggers from what I've seen. At ease, Officer Aaron. And greetings, traveler. Your arrival to our fair city couldn't have come at a worse time. The undead curse that lays on this land has been a thorn in our side for centuries, but an attack of this magnitude unheard of. Foul magic has disabled the waypoints as well. Smells like the work of enemy action, if you ask me. Indeed, officer. Anyway, Captain Roderick's the name, and I'm in charge of this garrison. We've already evacuated the civilians to High Home before the incident with the waypoints, so it's just a battle of central personnel here. The situation's dire. We've got our hands full tending to the injured, so I urge you to help my men push back the undead in the immediate area. The dead outnumber us three to one out there. My most pressing concern is now the garrison's storehouse up north. It's been overtaken by local gangs, but if you could wrestle control back from them, it would greatly help the defensive effort. Leave it to us, sir. We've got a good feeling about this one. Godspeed, and keep your wits about you out there. Before we leave, let's see if you can recruit help from the guild hall. Things will go a lot smoother with another pair of hands. I agree. So let's look at the guild hall. Um, the guild hall is wide and airy originally designed to accommodate crowds for the town's festivities. Now it is a temporary refuge for sullen face adventurers, nursing all manners of injuries. Most shirk away as you approach, unwilling to head back out. You are about to write off finding a hire when you run into a fellow adventurer. All right, so we got some choices here. We got Bertram, who's the ranger, Pierre, the spellbinder, Catherine, who's a cleric, and then a random party member. Oh, I don't know why I'm yawning. Uh, Catherine is probably our best pick here because she's the tank and she can protect Alphonse, which is very important because he is our main damage dealer. So, Catherine the Cleric hefts her hammer onto her shoulders. I was out by the gates when I saw it happen. An army of undead rising from the fields before us. Let me smite them alongside you. She definitely could come in useful against the undead. You leave the guild hall, new companion in tow. Humble beginnings, but a beginning nonetheless. All right, let's just click on Sister Ophelia here. By the light, you look like you've seen better days. 
I will do what I can to heal your wounds, but anything beyond that, well, resources are strained at the moment as we fend off the undead. Please do what you can to protect the innocents here. If necessary, return to the sanctuary for further healing. Light guide you, traveler. All right, so auto healing, some resurrection here. What can I buy from her? Medicinal leaf, when used in battle, adds a grit to your hand, and then small health files, okay. All right, so uh, Alphonse leveled up, so what we're gonna do is we're going, oh no, that's a skill from the, the points, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna give him a skill. So basically, you're gonna click on any of these and they're gonna offer you a card. Uh, assassin skills to me are, are quite strong, so I'm gonna get an assassin skill. All right, so we've got back kick, we've got double slash, and we've got jump slash. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to take... I'm going to put a replace an existing skill in your deck with a new random one. Okay, so this is allows me to take some skills out of my deck. And... What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of Observe, because we want more combat skills. Um, discard a card, no. When in stealth, um, we're going to get another Hidden Blade. Alright. Okay, so that just kept my deck trim. And then you can see here that Hidden Blade is there instead. Now that uh, Critical is actually a rare card, but with the set I'm trying to do with Alphonse, which is trying to get as many cards for his stab, uh, because this does three damage, deal plus one hit for every action played this turn. So if I can play three throwing daggers and then a stab, he's going to do 12 damage with the stab, which is uh, quite good. Let's look at the equipment that we ended up getting. Intelligence-based challenges. All right, well, my intelligence is like nothing. Uh, let's get another critical strike in there. Perfect. All right, we have no other equipment for Catherine. They start with nothing, but they're still combat effective. Oh boy, all the yawning, all the yawning in the world. All right, let's uh, take a look at our journal. And uh, we've got the Restless Dead. That is our main quest. So we're gonna view the location. Ready to head out? We'll have to loop around the garrison to get to the storehouse. Steady as we go. If things start getting too tough, we should head back to Sister Ophelia for healing. All right, let's head to our first uh, real battle here. We do have uh, this Aaron, he's gonna stick with us here, but he doesn't really do much. He just does like four damage every turn. All right, so uh, let's do some puncturing, some extra damage. He had a trigger ability. The only problem is that we did not get a stab, so we used up uh, they, they do cycle back, but we got unlucky with not having a stab. All right, so Catherine's got channeled spells. So what that does is it's just, uh, it costs three AP, but it's reduced by the amount of channel you have. So we're gonna kill that guy. We're gonna do damage there. And now we can do 18 damage for one, as opposed to the other way around. One shot kill on this fella right here. I don't know why he's got extra health. Hmm. I why I've got extra health. Oh, maybe that's a full health. They change things every single day. So, um, you know, there's a new update every single day. All right. Hidden Blade. It's going to draw a stab. So we gain some critical without actually uh, taking uh, any AP damage. So I'm going to show you why he's very good. Yeah, he's just going to roll through. He's our main damage dealer. And gets a little bit extra for being the one to get the last hit. Uh, sustaining Strike. That one's pretty expensive. Okay. This is telling me I've gained a skill for leveling up. So we're going to go there right now. And we're going to click this subterfuge. Because I want to have access to this other assassin. Alright. So apply poison. Discard your entire hand. Draw the same number of cards. Another puncture. Uh, we're going to replace a skill. We're going to get rid of one of these parries. And replace it with... Hmm. 
Somersault is pretty useful, but I think what we're going to do for now is we're going to, yeah, no, we're going to take Somersault. So as you pick things, uh, based on what the card is, you actually get benefits uh, to your uh, to your stats. So by picking that card, it increased my dexterity. All right, we'll go back to the map here. We'll move on to the next. All right. So it's random where you end up. Um, if you basically, you're, it's random where you end up. Uh, you get to pick your row that you start in, but where you start on the row is completely random. All right. So let's get a puncture going here. Uh, another puncture. And then step away. All right. A blessed strike. And we just want to prevent, prevent ourselves from taking any damage because you actually get experience bonuses if, you're, uh, if you don't take any damage. So I ended up being the right call there because uh, she ended up tanking a few of those things. All right, so let's get a hidden blade going on. Gives us a throwing dagger, so we don't lose any AP for that. This gives us a smoke bomb, so we're gonna throw the smoke bomb. We're gonna throw the parry, and then we're gonna throw dagger, dagger, dagger. There we go. Okay, so let's head down. We're going to protect... Actually, he's got 10 and he's only doing 4 damage. You can see this here and he's going to attack Alphonse no matter what. So we're going to avoid moving down because we can attack in both rows. Let's do a debilitating bolt. Put some vulnerable on him. Just means he's going to take 5 more damage on the next hit. And we'll do 17 damage and gain some channel. All right, there's a level up for Catherine, and then we're gonna get maximum HP plus dexterity. That's a decent thing. All right, so let's level her up. Her talents are in Holy Warrior, at least my choice, but with Divine does some good stuff for channeling, so we're gonna go here. All right. So here's a channeled spell, Righteous Frame, fl Righteous Flame. But uh, right now we can only channel three, so this will never be free. But it does do a massive AOE, also applies burn. Um, just, uh, we're just going to replace an existing skill. Strike is a useless skill in, in what I like to think. I prefer something like Holy Hammer or Press the Attack. Uh, let's go Press the Attack. Long Combats, that's actually a pretty useful skill. We'll probably replace it later on, but for now it's, it's pretty decent. And let's equip this ring. Let's give her a little more dexterity because she's really low. And then I don't want to give this to anyone because really it's just thickening up the deck, which is not what you want. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, elite battle. That's why you see the special skull there. And we're up to three rows now, and Alphonse got some, gets a uh, good start right away by being in the center. All right, let's go Hidden Blade, Smoke Bomb. Uh, we're just going to parry because um, well, we're just going to parry because I don't want him to take any damage and we don't have any stabs. All right, so we'll do press the attack. Get some block on her. She's going to take some damage probably. These guys, yeah. Oh well, she's, he's gonna take, or she's gonna take one. So it loses our flawless bonus, but still pretty good. All right, we're we'll hidden blade again, and we do get a throwing dagger, which is great. So watch how this scales. So we'll do 12 damage. Now we'll do 15 damage. This guy's just defending, so we're going to take out this guy. So you can see once we get the engine going on... Um, once we get the engine going, how big of a difference it's going to make. All right, let's Righteous Blow, which makes Smite free. 
and then we're gonna bless strike. All right. So Catherine took some damage, but uh, that's all right. So you lose 150 bonus experience. So you want to kind of keep that to a minimum. You certainly got a knack for staying alive. The garrison should be a little safer now with your help. That leaves our main objective, the garrison storehouse. It's right up ahead through the streets. We've had to barricade it off from the garrison when the bandits attacked. With luck, we'll be able to deal with them without too much trouble. All right. So it says we can go back, but we're going to go one more. But we got to upgrade Alphonse the Scoundrel. We're going to give him this assassin node. Uh, another stab would be nice. We got to master some of these stabs. Uh, gain six critical or swift kill. That retains my critical. Uh, we're going to get another stab. Okay, so this is a mastery node. We're going to get this one next. I just wanted to get another attack card. Um, this allows us to master skills, and you're going to see what that uh, benefits later on. All right, let's go back to our map. Let's go to the storehouse. On the way to the storehouse, you pass by three soldiers nursing an assortment of injuries. They advise caution when dealing with the bandits. Front doors blockaded, and they have crossbows waiting for you if you get in, says one of them. Down the road, you arrive at the garrison storehouse. A bandit peers out from an arrow slit on the second floor. Scram, unless you've got a death wish, he sneers before heading back inside. The front door doesn't budge when you push it, or push on it. It might give way with some force, but the earlier soldier's warning comes to mind. All right, so we can either search for another point of entry or we can force the door. Based on what we have here, this is a percentage chance of passing. So we're gonna take the higher percentage chance. You're now attempting a challenge, a test of your skill and luck. Picking an appropriate skill for the task at hand will grant a higher bonus on your dice roll, but note that the skill you use will be exhausted until your next rest. Roll higher than the challenge difficulty to succeed. Remember, there are always consequences to failing the roll. All right, so she has the highest modifier, which is plus two. We're gonna pick a skill, we're gonna throw it on there, and hopefully it can make us a little bit better in this regard. Uh, so it looks like I can get plus five. I'm gonna use the Holy Force. Plus six roll modifier, I gotta roll five or higher. Probably gonna fail. I did not, so I didn't even need it. But 220 experience and I passed. So I'm gonna climb the roof. So we can either take out the bandit leader in the back or take out two bandits watching the door. Let's read this. On the rooftop, you fortuitously find an open hatch door and a ladder leading down to the storehouse. Inside, you spot three bandits on the lower floor. Two of them have their crossbows trained on the front door. A larger bandit, presumably their leader, is rummaging around the various supply crates. With the advantage of surprise, you estimate that Officer Aaron and yourself, <sighs> oh, the ons, could take out one set of them. But which one? Um, let's. I don't like range attack guys, so we're gonna take out the uh, the leader. Cautiously moving across the rafters, Officer Aaron waits for the signal. The officer lands on the large man, throwing him off balance. You follow him through, slamming the man's head onto a nearby crate to knock him out cold. The two bandits whirl around in surprise, clumsily firing off their crossbows in your direction. Oh, damn. All right, so Alphonse has an 85% chance of success, so um, I can just roll, and uh, I'm going to get that there. So he gains 140 experience, and we cleared the challenge. I misread it, so now we got to take out these guys, and they've got ranged attacks, so I don't necessarily like that. He's looking for a straight attack, so we're going to take out the ranged attack guy first. Hidden Blade gets us a stab. Now we've got three stabs, so watch how this scales. So the real benefit that we're going to look for is we're going to try and get him plus attack items, and that comes on later on. I'll press the tag, press the strike, and a shield block to protect ourselves. All right, so we need to move up. Uh, we're gonna move back into the uh, into the stealth row. So that was an easy battle. Okay, we've got an attack of opportunity, the granite tincture, and some money. Let's head back to the garrison. All right, so the garrison has been achieved. We're going to head back there right now.
And let's talk to Captain Roderick. I obtained the following. Renown. Granted all heroes in the party upon completion of this adventure. Allows you to customize and unlock more starting perks for the heroes in future runs. Alright. Perfect. Excellent work out there. Officer Aaron, head over with some of the reserves to secure the area. Right away, Captain. Now, even as we speak, there are battles being waged on multiple fronts along the outer perimeter of the garrison. A few adventurers like yourselves have been dispatched to two choke points to hold the line. My resources are stretched thin as it is. I'll need you to head out to support the defense effort. Make sure none of the undead break through. All right. So, we're going to have a look at June the Blacksmith because she's got items that perhaps can give us an attack here. Uh, Dexterity-based challenges. And then ready for battle, which is Vigil. But we don't want any of that. We're just going to sell off the stuff that we don't want. I'm trying to get as much money as possible. All right, let's take a look at our journal. We're going to go to defend the garrison, view location on the map. All right, so we have a choice. We can go defend uh, Pierre the Spellbinder. We can go defend... Um, I don't even know his name. Lucius, that's right. Lucius. Reinforcements at last. There's a big group of undead ahead that need dealing with. Brace yourself. All right, so this is a new form of battle with a couple of different things that we're going to talk about. First off, we can see these little barriers right here. Those barriers don't allow people to attack on the far side. Um, they just allow you to uh, to protect yourself. So Alphonse is a really good spot right now because he's right behind that barrier. Second thing, reinforcements are remaining. Every single turn, you see this little floating guy here? What's going to happen is every turn, the reinforcements run out. You're going to add more people to the battle. So you see two here. That's going to be five by the end of the battle. So let's go at it. Well, let's get a throwing dagger going. A smoke bomb to get some health. Or some defense burn. And then we're going to stab away for 12. Ooh, extra might for us. All right. So we're going to take some plus strike out. Shield block. Shield block. And there come those reinforcements. Okay. Like I said, if we can get those attack damage plus ones on Alphonse, he becomes just unstoppable. All right, let's do some damage here. Little order issues, I probably could have killed him. But we'll let this unnamed soldier do some work for us. All right. We'll do a hidden blade again. Beautiful. Got attacks both times. Watch this puncture. How about 16 damage? And just for fun. I love watching Alphonse work. If there's no guys to fight. We gotta wait for this last one. So we're gonna be doing a lot of ending the turn. Alright, so this bat is coming in. It's got vampiric touch. So every, it heals two hit points every time it does damage, and every time you hit it, it's going to shift around. So Somersault becomes in useful here. All right, let's throw that. All right, here we go. Um, we'll press the attack. We'll press the strike. Uh, Smite for the win. Don't get those flawless bonuses in here. And then uh, level up for both of them. A shield gives us tenacity. Gain five guard for every ally adjacent to you, but uh, we're not going to put that on because we would never use that. All right. Here's a level up for Alphonse. We're going to master a skill. This one is part of my favorite. We are going to look at Hidden Blade, but no, it's going to be Stab. Takes it from one to zero. So not only does it um, does it do everything that it's doing, but it also adds to other stabs without reducing our AP. All 
All right, let's have a look at Catherine. We're going to give her some divine skills. Jane, gain channel equal to the number of divine channel spells played this turn. Okay. Consumed all channel for every three channel consumed. Raise max channel by two. So these are all okay, but uh, the problem is, is that uh, they're not as good as I would like. So we're going to replace a skill. Uh, we're going to replace Holy Force. Deal seven damage to two, two targets in lane. Reveal two random temporary healing cards. So that's just a better version of what we saw. It costs more, but it's better. Ally gains one channel. Gain nine guard. Asian, eight adjacent allies gain two vigil. Uh, we're going to go with the Holy Wave. I think that's uh, quite uh, quite good. It does the whole lane plus it, uh, it provides some healing. And uh, we're going to be looking for warrior abilities. All right. Swift strikes are good. We're going to replace a skill, though, because we don't want our... Uh, we don't want our uh, deck to get too thick. Uh, Keen Strikes. So deal two, 8 damage, gain, gain 2 critical. But it's an opener. So an opener reduces the AP of a non-opener in his, in the hand to by 1. So it's actually a... You have to have AP to play it, but it does create a free uh, ability or at least a reduced ability. So Keen Strikes and Openers are really useful. Openers are really useful for Alphonse, too. All right. Uh, any equipment that we want to put on there... No. All right, we're just going to head back to the garrison. So the one thing that I didn't point out is that uh, Catherine did expend an ability, and the only way to get that ability back is to go in and rest. So we're going to go and heal ourselves up. We're going to look to see if June the Blacksmith has anything that helps our attack. So no attached attacks will apply to bleed, which it means every time the swift strike gets used, it's going to cause some bleeding. But nothing. Gain one thorns on turn start plus one strength. That's actually pretty good. But we're gonna hold on for now because we want to make sure that uh, if when this becomes available, which is the um, the guy who's gonna sell us rings, those are the things that most commonly give uh, most commonly give plus attacks. All right, let's head over to Pierre. He's got a battle in the way though, and we welcome our new party member, uh, Lucius who's going to stick with us, and now we do get control of him. All right, so let's have a look. Plan out this turn. All right, we're going to avoid attacking him for now because we don't have any uh, parry. So let's get on attacking. Now he's hiding in behind there. We're going to shift him out. We use a smoke bomb, which is going to give us some defense, and then we're going to do 12 damage and watch him shift around, and we end our turn. All right, here's where you get to see the advantage of those keen strikes. So keen strike makes slash free. Keen strike makes show of force free. All right, so we're going to slash. We're going to show of force. Another order issue there. All right, put up some shield block. And then we are going to Righteous Blow. And now we're going to Smite and press the attack. So nice little order there. Ooh, nice and lined up for us. OK, Hidden Blade. We got a throwing dagger. Free, free. And unfortunately, we didn't, we wouldn't, I want to make sure that he doesn't take any damage. Uh, so we've seen this burn effect. So you see cards that are on fire. Um, when those cards are on fire, if you play those cards, you take fire damage equal to that. So uh, that's why we're uh, not going to take any of that. We're just going to defend ourselves. All right. Holy wave. The only problem is I need to be in the same row. So that one, that kind of sucks. So 
So now I've got bleed on Alphonse, so Alphonse is going to start taking some damage and some poison as well. So bleed does damage every time that you use AP. So let's have a look at there. We'll do as much as we can. Oh, he had thorns on. I'm like, why did I take him? All right. Let's use our opener. Going to slash. And then we're going to take him out with one shot. Catherine's going to do some work here. Holy wave. And I had those heals, but uh, they didn't come in time. So look at the difference between getting um if you get hit and not getting hit like 180 experience and then 150 experience okay uh let's go back and we're just gonna have a quick heal it's important just to take care of yourself in regard to healing early on in the game um again we're looking for anything that can do armor up Okay, nothing that we want in there. Sell off those. All right, so this is gonna be our last battle. This is uh, welcoming our next part, our our next uh, party member. But you can only have three on the battlefield at any one time. So this is more just to get access to an additional guy. All right, let's uh, get to work here. Not 15 damage or two bleed. Let's go 15 damage. All right. We're gonna carry. I'm gonna steal that chance for death. All right. Plus an attack, plus a strike. I'm gonna block block. Alright, so no damage taken. And this is a reinforcement battle, so you're gonna start to see them stacking up, which is why you gotta really focus on taking guys out as soon as possible. Alright, let's get a hidden blade, see what we have to work with. We've got another throwing dagger. Alright, so. I'm going to take out this guy. The stab is free. Okay. We're going to use our somersault to move because it's one extra card played. And we still have access to attack this guy here. And that's how you take out two guys in one turn with Alphonse. The beast of all beasts. Alright, show of force is really good here. We'll have a parry because we don't want to take any damage. And then we're going to weaken this guy for Catherine to beat up on. Again, just unlucky with the wave. There we go. Good work. So hopefully he attacks. Yeah, he attacks across so we stay perfect. There's three more guys coming in all at the same time. So we are going to All right. We need to take out this archer. doing six damage so if we can end him that would be really nice uh, press the attack has more damage yeah 
yeah, this one is just gross. All right, so we need to move because we currently can't hit anybody. So let's draw some cards here. Hopefully we draw our somersault. We did, perfect. Okay, throwing dagger. Now we're gonna do a puncture. Then we do a throwing dagger. And we stab for 18. here to this NPC, which I'm okay with. Uh, All right. Uh, All right, so victory here. We'll level these people up, and then uh, we'll, I guess we'll see you next time. Attach attack supply, one bleed. Not so bad. Not a moment too soon. Let's head back to update Captain Roderick. So we're going to head back, we'll do our updates, and then uh, we'll be in another episode for another day. All right, Captain Roderick, with your skills and some luck, this threat may be surmountable yet. We need to start venturing out to better prepare for an extended siege. A ragtag team, yours may be, but you'll move fast and attract less attention. The resident artisans have managed to step up, set up shop in the area, and we'll need their expertise to give the soldiers a fighting chance. Hear them out, render their assistance if needed, and perhaps we we'll, might all stand a chance to survive this. Alright, so we got a lot of things to look at here. But first we're going to level up Catherine. We're going to give us her divine channel skills. Create two mana siphons on two random enemy cells. Cast against one channel if an enemy steps into it. Okay, that's interesting. Remove de two debuffs. Uh, we're going to replace another skill. And this time we're gonna replace one of these shield blocks. Just too many. Um, hmm. Do I want another press the attack? Yeah, we're gonna take another press the attack. And then. So either swordsmanship or warrior, combat ability. Let's go combat ability. All right, so these are passives. Okay, so it's just a one more card ability. A passive stays in your hand. So every time I move, I'm gonna gain a critical. But the problem is, is that it reduces your hand size. So they have to be really good. And there are some uh, very good ones, but for now, this one's not, okay. Um, fragile is take 30% more damage next time for the next X hits. Uh, we're going to just use Circumvent. Uh, that's a really good guard card. Um, it's good enough to be able to, uh, to keep, um, to be able to keep and, uh, thicken our deck just a little bit. All right. Okay. So next time that, uh, we are going to see each other. We're going to go through and we're going to uh, see all of these. Um, we're going to see all of these abilities and these people that are there. Uh, until then, I hope you uh, have a good day. Uh, stay safe, stay inside, um, and uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you again soon.